Thank you for visiting me at my YouTube channel. Alvina Asher, Ottawa Real Estate Expert is here. So you are interested in July market snapshot. You absolutely have to stay with me until the end of this report. It's for sure some interesting stuff going on in Ottawa these days. And don't forget to subscribe and put some thumbs up. Says Ottawa Real Estate Board President Ken Decker, July indicated consumers remain confident in the market, notwithstanding the two recent quarter percent interest rate hikes by the Bank of Canada. And for me, I can add two touchdown tornadoes in Ottawa. Also did not scare buyers or sellers. Kudos to you guys. Both transactions and average prices are up from last July, indicating consumers are remain confident in the market. We're only two months into the third quarter, but based on July's positive indicators, we're likely to see solid year-over-year -year result in the second half. Agents in Ottawa sold 1,263 residential properties in July compared with 1,102 properties in July 2022, an increase of 15%. The sales included 979 in the freehold property class, up 18% from July 2022. 284 in the condominium property category, a 6% increase from July 2022. The five year average for total unit sales in July is 1,621 units. The average sale price for in July was freehold class property $754,188, an increase of 5% of from 2022 and a 1% increase over June 2023. The medium class property $435,094, an increase of 2% from a year ago although 3% lower than June 2023 prices. Year-to-date average sale prices at $735,103 for freeholds and $433,447 for condos. These values represent a 9% decrease over 2022 for freehold class properties and a 6% decrease of condominium class properties. July average prices are showing positive gains over last year and year-to-date numbers, as expected, are still closing the gap from the peak pandemic market activity of early 2022. Additionally, inventory continues to climb steadily as new listings are added to the housing stock, creating more options for the home buyers. August may be a slower month in Ottawa, but I would not take a vacation from shopping for your home, would you? Let's check out the inventory. July's new listings are 2,234 units, where 6% lower than July 2022, where it was 2,364 units, and down 19% from June 2023, where it was 2,755 units. The five-year average for new listings in July is 2,000. 336 units. Month of inventory for the freehold class properties has decreased to 2.7 months from 2.9 months in July 2022, but increased from 2.1 months in June 2023. Another very important factor, let's look at days on market. For freeholds, days on market have increased to 26 days from 20 days in July 2022 and 23 days from June 2023. Sellers, although it's your market, you should expect delays in sales. Months of inventory or condominium class properties has decreased to 2.3 months from 2.5 months in July 2022, but it is up from 1.4 months in June 2023. Days in the market for condos have increased to 28 days from 20 days in July 2023 and 27 days in June 2023. Real estate agents also help with finding rentals and vetting potential tenants since the beginning of the year. Our auto agents have assisted clients with renting 3,921 properties compared to 3,528 properties in 2022. How amazing is that? It is an increase in 11%. Now, the information that all of you are waiting for. 
how fast I'm going to sell my house for how much and how fast I'm going to receive my money. And this is what every seller is asking and buyers are asking when it's going to be more inventory, when we're going to buy our house, we are approved and we still cannot find the house. All that right now i'm going to answer to you to all these questions although we are in a seller's market again the pandemic's frenzy has calmed considerably sellers need to manage their expectations with the true market activity not every property will be automatically see multiple offers and not every property will be immediately sold like in the last two years Ultimately, a property's price is determined by how much a buyer is willing to pay for your property. Using the marketing and negotiating skills of a professional, licensed real estate agent is instrumental help for you, for both buyers and sellers. It is a fluid market, and this is the best to use a real estate agent for both of those transactions from the seller and from the buyer. This is not the time to look at how much commission would you pay. This is the time to see how much money the real estate agent will leave in your pocket. If you need more information, you know where to call. Alvina Asher, Ottawa real estate expert is here. I will sell your house for more. I will buy a house for you for less. So if you consider to buy or sell, just consider it done. Call me anytime when you really need me. This is the conclusion of my market snapshot for July 2023. Please subscribe and put your thumbs up because I promise you it is much more coming on this channel and it will be totally revamped from September 1st. And I would make sure that my channel will inform you about interesting stuff that's going on in real estate in Ottawa.